Uh, right, well, we're all still here because we were looking at these combined 11s of City and Arsenal a little bit earlier on, but we want to focus on who's going to come up against each other, of course, for real at the weekend. And Sam, you've been doing a, a little bit of uh, research as well on the Sky Sports app and website. When you look at, you've got Rodri, the linchpin, I think we all had in our team, and Rice as well, and looking at maybe who's going to come out on, on top in the real battle. Yeah, it's certainly the most tantalising battle on the Etihad Stadium pitch. Rodri versus Declan Rice. Two players probably going for player of the season as well. And Pep Guardiola and Mikel Arteta describe both of these midfielders as lighthouses. But it's not the only comparison and similarities they have. Because as you can see, they go into this game on exactly the same amount of goals, same assists, and the shooting accuracy, passing accuracy and tackles are very much the same as well. So this is how they're similar, but they're actually quite different in terms of how they break the lines. And as you can see from these stats, Rodri is basically the pass master. He breaks the lines, defenders bypass by passes by basically passing the ball and finding those gaps. Whereas Declan Rice, on the other hand, mm -hmm. he's the best player in the Premier League at carrying the ball. And both players sort of enter the final third. Uh, well, Rodri does it a lot more, but that's because Rodri have uh, Man City have the ball a lot more. So you can see that actually they're both very attacking threats as well. So while they're both coming up against each other in the midfield, they're actually going to have to stop each other in the penalty area as well, you think? It's a great match up, Brilliant. isn't yeah, it? Yeah, fascinating Goodness to me. look at the numbers there. Absolutely yeah. love that. And what about Rice and his position as well? How different is it to where... We were used to seeing him, um, Mark, because you've been having a little bit of a look at this, I believe. Yeah, this is the, the heat map. Not quite as much detail in, in, in my screen as uh, Sam's. But you can <laughs> see this is a comparison between West Ham in the Premier League last season compared to Arsenal. So immediately you can yeah. see at West Ham under David Moyes, yeah. Declan Rice was playing more as a, as a holding midfielder, didn't get into those advanced positions as much. And as you can see as well, spent a lot of time out on that left-hand side. So he was sort of pivot down the left-hand channel. That was his role. But you can see how much he's evolved and changed under Mikel Arteta. He's the complete box-to-box -box midfielder now, not just playing as that holding midfielder, but someone who can punch forward into those advanced areas. He can create, create things, hang around the box as well, win the ball high up the pitch. His energy, his work rate, his enthusiasm to win the ball, that's what's key for Arsenal. And you can see that in those two heat maps. Very different. Mm. And are, once again, People talk about 105 million being a lot of money for Declan Rice. Already you're starting to see that investment and why Mikel Arteta and Edu were so keen to get his signature and why Manchester City were also interested as well. Mm -hmm. But these heat maps give a real indication of what he brings to that pitch. And quite simply at Arsenal, he is everywhere. Yeah, he absolutely is. But the big question is, I guess, if you could have only one in your team, <laughs> you can only pick Rodri or Rice. Who do you choose and why? Do you take into consideration who you just enjoy watching more or statistically who comes out on top? Because I know that's where you both deal well, <laughs> best. Pete, for you, well, if you go. look at Sam's stats, there's not much to pick between them, is no, there? I think no. maybe the one thing you could say in that area of the pitch is experience. Maybe Rodri just edges Rice in that. He's only a couple of years older. I think we forget Rodri's only 27 years old himself, but three Premier Leagues, a Champions League, League, maybe that just gives him the little edge in that middle of the park. And I think the main thing we say about these players is they're so well suited to their own teams because we've seen with Man City, they lost three Premier League games this season. There are three games that Rodri missed for them this season. So when he's not there, he's yeah. such a big loss. And then we've spoken earlier in the show about how transformational Rice has been for this Arsenal team in terms of what they do in the middle of the park, even as a leader for them as well. So, you know, neither team would want to lose either of them, but in terms of which one you'd want on your side, Maybe I'd just lean towards Rodri. Has he left you any sort of arguing point here then, Sam? <laughs> no, I'm actually going to pick Rice, actually. Oh. Not just because uh, I think he's flexible as well. He can play in the number six. He can play as a number eight. And that's been really, really crucial for Arsenal. It's really crucial for a Premier League title winning squad. I think he's also better to watch on the ball. Okay. The, the ball carrying, a player taking the ball and driving through the lines, I think is, for me, a lot more pleasing than someone who just passes it through and, and, and gives it to a better player like Kevin De Bruyne. City fans probably Rodri enjoyed does. watching Rodri score in the Champions League final, I'd say, though. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. But as, got Pep that, Guardiola, as Pep Guardiola says, the, the holding midfielder should never be in the highlights. <laughs> so maybe he's actually doing something wrong there. there you go. Right, you've got to decide. Uh, Declan Rice. 
Oh, OK. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've enjoyed listening to the, uh, mm -hmm. the banter between those two and the, <laughs> their arguments between, you know, as to right. why and who. I think just the ball carrying, the fact that Declan Rice is English as well and he's going to be a massive player for Gareth Southgate in the summer and he's going to be a part of that wow. successful England team that brings it home. Wow, there he said it. Okay. He said there it, he go. started already. <laughs> I've been doing it for weeks. <laughs>